will be doing my March favorites. I have quite a few products that I have been loving all month long. And stay tuned for my monthly shoutouts as well. If you want to know who I shouted out on the month of February, go ahead and check it out. I will leave the link down below. And yeah, so without further ado, let's get started. So my favorite this month is the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. I have been loving this primer so much because it really sets my makeup in place. It doesn't move at all and it doesn't feel greasy or it doesn't feel too, like too much on my skin. It just makes it extremely easy to apply. I've been enjoying this so much. The only negative thing is that I tend to get a little bit oily around my nose. And that's a little bit odd because I never get oily, but I really don't mind that because other than that, my makeup stays in place all day long. The next thing that I have been loving is this Bubble Cover Up Concealer. I got it in my, let's say, Ipsy bag. Yeah, I think I got it on my Ipsy bag, on my February Ipsy bag. As you can see, I'm going to be showing you a bunch of samples or products that I have received on my subscription boxes because I'm really trying to get rid of them and just use as many samples as I can because I have a huge box filled with samples and they're just staring at me like use me but yeah that's why I have been using a lot of samples this month so anyways, I have been loving the Bubu Cover Up Concealer. It is my perfect shade. I use it on my under eye circles and it covers them perfectly. And it stays intact the entire day. It does increase and it's just so creamy and thick. So it is a really rich consistency that, heck yeah, it lasts a long time. And I have used this ever since I got it and I still have a lot of product left. Another Ipsy product that I have been loving is this blush and the color is Cosmopolitan and it is a Barbie pink blush. It does look a little bit scary on the packaging but don't worry. It is kind of scary but if you use it with a light hand you have no problem. A little goes a long way. I gently just tap my brush and just swipe it on my cheeks and it gives such a beautiful rosy pink look and glow to my cheeks and it is perfect for spring and summer if you don't want to go all crazy with your makeup just apply some blush and you're good to go last makeup product that I have been loving is this Jordana 12 hour made to last liquid eyeliner pencil that was a mouthful and I have never tried any Jordana products. I just recently purchased a couple of products, which was my eyeshadow crayon in Endless Emerald that I used on my spring makeup look and this. And I have been on the hunt for a good black eyeliner that stays on my eyes and I actually found it. This eyeliner does stay on my eyes and it does increase. I usually wear it on my waterline. I don't have to retouch it or anything. It does, it can crease a little bit if your eyes get watery but if you have dry eyes and if you don't get watery or anything like that, this is a good product for you. It is so creamy and so pigmented so a little goes a long way. I love this product and it's really inexpensive as well so that's why I enjoy it so much and I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this. And then the next product that I have been loving is the Sonia Kashuk Brush and Sponge Cleanser. One of my friends here on YouTube, Kale Lagunero, I think that's how her name is pronounced. She actually made a video uh, featuring this product and how she cleans her makeup brushes with it and her sponges. And yes, this is a must-have for me this month because I have been cleaning my... Real Technique sponge with it and it definitely takes all the gunk out of it. You spray it just a few times on your sponge and you're good to go. All the product just instantly 
comes off and it is amazing she actually has a demo on how she used this product so I will link it down below so you can see how it works another sample that I have been using and I believe I got this one on my birch box last month it's the Evologi something like that intensive blemish serum and what this does is that you just apply just a, a small amount on your pimples or on your blemishes or any scars that you may have and it instantly removes them or not removes them but it makes them less visible and it does work like magic. I had a few breakouts on my cheeks a few weeks ago and I applied this directly and the next day they were gone like magic. I was so happy that I use this and I have been having a bit of a breakout lately but I use this and it's definitely good to go. I have been really satisfied with this product that's why I have to use my samples because you never know you might find your holy grail. And yet another sample that I have been using is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product and I got this one on my birch box as well last month and I have been dying to try this product out. I actually regret not trying it out sooner because this definitely is a miracle leave-in product. My hair feels so much thicker, voluminous, soft. It's like new. I My split ends are gone. It makes it so soft and silky. I love it. I absolutely love it and I'm definitely going to be repurchasing the full size even though it's a little bit pricey but I will make that investment because I love it and the smell is just amazing I cannot explain it I think it smells like I don't know like perfume or something throughout the day my hair smells amazing plus leaving it so healthy and smooth now for this shout out time this month I have been loving watching vlogs because as you can tell I actually did my first vlog with my friend Jenny also known as pretty girl Jenny it's all gonna be down below so I just wanted to watch vlogs and see how other people do it or even before that I have been loving these ladies because they are amazing at vlogging I don't know how they do it it's like they're they're professionals they're so good with the camera they're so good at just walking around and vlogging they don't care if people are watching them at least I don't think so because it doesn't show but the first lady that I have been watching and have been watching her vlogs for a very very long time it's Alicia May here on YouTube she has amazing vlogs she has been vlogging for a while now and I have to keep up with her vlogs because before I used to be all consistent and keeping up with her vlogs but she's, she does daily vlogs and it's really hard for me to keep up most because, mostly because I'm in school so all, all in general it's really hard for me to keep up with videos but I have been trying to keep up with her vlogs. She does daily vlogs and her vlogs are amazing and sometimes she does them with her husband she's just a sweetheart she's just down to earth so sweet what i love most on her vlogs is that at the end of the day she focuses on the thing that she really enjoyed that day and she calls it the highlight of her day the highlight of the day that's really nice because even though you have a bad day or you might have a good or bad day at the end of the day you should focus on what made you happy that day and I really love that because it shows how positive she can, someone can be if you're going through a hard time. I love that. Please go and check her out and show her some love. She honestly deserves it because she has been working on her channel for quite a while now. It's Callie Bright. I think that's how her name is pronounced. She has two channels, her vlogging channel and her beauty channel I will leave both of the links down below uh, her beauty channel is amazing she is just sweet and really gives amazing tips about how to shop on a budget 
and her vlogging channel. It's really interesting because they, her and her husband recently got an RV and they're planning to travel all around the US and right now they are remodeling it and making changes and they focused her vlog channel on their RV life and they also give us some tips on some questions that you want to ask yourself if you want to become a full-time RV owner they are full-time RV owners so they're planning to live in an RV and just travel around the US like I said before and they also share their story on how they decided to purchase an RV and stuff like that and it and it is all so interesting I love most about her vlog channel is that I mean don't be afraid to just make a change a dramatic change because that was a drastic change for them and they just did it I mean and they're just making the best of it and that's really positive as well because I don't think I could ever do that or maybe I can but I'm really afraid of change I need to loosen up a little bit and I'm learning a lot so go and definitely check her out she's just great and the last girl that I have been loving is Jackie also known as that's so Jackie that's her beauty channel and her vlogging channel it's Jackie vlogs or something like that yeah I think that's Jackie vlogs as well I will leave her channels down below and she has a sweet little family she has two kids and what I love most about them is that whenever she takes out the camera they are so camera ready I mean they're good with cameras and they just get away with words they are amazing so well educated wow they're the cutest as well and what I have learned with her channel is that being a mommy sure takes a lot of work I mean has to clean the house get the kids ready and everything and that could be stressful and I can tell that she loves it no matter how tired or how stressed she can be and trust me not every mom is like that and I know for a fact that when I have kids of my own I want to be like her because she's just so kind and I know that she tries so hard to get them all the love and all the attention they need and that's really sweet of her plus I love how she does her makeup she's absolutely gorgeous and her hair let's not talk about her hair she is beautiful all three ladies that I mentioned are extremely beautiful and they're amazing and it'll be an honor for me to meet them one day so those were all my favorites of the month and my favorite girls of the month so if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and sorry I posted it too late but better late than ever right so I guess I'll see you in my next video bye